hello everyone, my name is Greg Niemczuk and uh, you might know me from many videos on YouTube about Chopin but also about a piano technique that I recently started to do because you asked me for that. Um, I'm a concert pianist, um, I had to learn my own technique by myself and uh, spent on many years on it. Uh, and since here on YouTube there are many of you who are playing the piano, want to improve um, and are looking for some new videos about that, I decided to do um, a series actually of videos about all Hanon exercises because I made one general video about all Hanon exercises and um, many of you asked me about the um, very specific problems so I thought that might be a good idea to just um, set a one video for each one short very short video for each of the uh, Hanon exercises just to show you um, the goal that you should reach and how to work with your wrist and how to work with your fingers uh, because that I think is very important and probably many of you are asking a lot of questions and uh, some of you just uh, don't have the teacher to help you with that, right? So let's start because we I don't want to waste any time, precious time is better to practice piano. Exercise number one. Uh, first of all, what we want to achieve is the tempo, very hard tempo. <laughs> see well of course the articulation in the left hand as well you re you have to remember one very important thing whether you have the teacher or you don't have the teacher um, it's not really very important what you are doing and how your hand looks but it's very important how it sounds it's always with music I always say to my students you can play a note with your nose if it sounds well because nobody should care how it looks so do everything that you can find out in your hand so that this sounds well I mean the articulation is perfect um, and the tempo is okay and you are not tensed do you know what I mean I mean for many people for example it helps to have the rotation of the wrist or even the elbow for example for me it helps it's it's not for me useful to have a completely steady hand because you can hear that the articulation is not good why because I get a little tensed and stuck so I prefer to relax the hand this is a very important thing and then can you see I hope you can see uh, my rotation a little of a rotation of the hand uh, right hand has a different notation when it goes up left hand a little different because left hand is doing something like that at the same time of course you have to move your fingers you have to lift them Of uh, course, it's it's not easy at first, but you know, step by step, you you should improve your tempo with the metronome. Let's let's go back to the slow tempo. Of course, of course, many of you play slower. What is the most important thing? That all the fingers lay on the keyboard and they don't they don't stay up, and you are completely relaxed. To make it a little bit more musical, because some some critics of Hanon say that it's not musical, you can, I always do it, you can always get crescendo and diminuendo. Rather than just playing, uh, you know, without any dynamic. So that's, that's, that's what I wanted to show you in this first um, Hanon exercise and how to reach this fast tempo you can also divide for example first think of going up 
helping your step with the wrist and then going down a little bit through the thumb. So. So that's the problem of the first exercise. If you have some more questions, just write me and I will answer you. Thank you very much for watching.